So the big question for a lot of us, how do the coronavirus vaccines actually work? Dr. William Moss from Johns Hopkins University is here to help us separate fact from fiction. My name is Dr. William Moss. I'm a professor at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and executive director of the International Vaccine Access Center. First up, I'll test positive for COVID-19 after getting the vaccine. Fiction. What will happen is that you will develop antibodies to the virus, SARS coronavirus 2, that causes COVID-19, but you will not get the infection and you will not test positive for the virus. I don't need to get vaccinated if I've already had the virus. That's fiction. But it is true that people who have been infected with SARS coronavirus 2 or have developed COVID-19 will have developed an immune response. The problem is we do not yet know how long that immunity will last and it varies from person to person. I still need to wear a mask and socially distance in public even after I've had both doses of the vaccine. That's a fact. We do not yet know, but we will in the coming months, whether these vaccines actually prevent someone from transmitting the virus. The FDA's emergency use of authorization skips valuable testing protocols. Fiction. The FDA emergency use authorization did not skip any steps in the process. The FDA emergency use authorization was based on a detailed and rigorous evaluation of available data from large phase three clinical trials of both the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines. Getting the vaccine does not mean I'm protected for life. Fact, we do not yet know how long protective immunity will last after vaccination. We will have to wait and follow individuals to see whether that's true. My name is Dr. William Moss, and I'm a professor at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and executive director of the International Vaccine Access Center. And you're watching Local Now.